we can now create anything with Lovable. We are going to create an army of AI agents connected to WhatsApp. And all of this is done without coding, without NADM, only by prompting. And this is going to be a very realistic video. I will show you everything from how I debug, how I think, to how I reach the actual end product. So follow along until the end and you will know exactly how you can create products like this yourself. So let's make a team of AI agents connected to a WhatsApp account and these agents can read images and they can answer back. So what we are going to do is we are going to build this inside of Lovable with a Twilio connection. So the first thing that we need to do is we have a very big prompt with all of the information that we need to give to Lovable. It is in the build loop prompt library. You can copy paste a prompt and use it for your own project. So I will go to the build loop prompt library and I put a link in the description. We are going to create a multi-agent system in your WhatsApp where if we are out for dinner, we can make a photo of the menu and it will help the user track their calories and also make sure that this person is making the correct choices so you can read this in detail for yourself but if we scroll down we have the prompt here so we have the core concept we have the architecture flow and we have the different agents so we have the router agent the vision agent the nutrition agent the goal agent and the fitness agent we have the database table and we have this complete prompt so that lovable understands how to implement it so what we'll do is we will copy it we'll go to lovable and we'll paste it so we put in the complete prompt and it started building the actual app. So we have a landing page, we have the multi-agent architecture, we have the WhatsApp webhook, we have the database schemas and the dashboard UI. And this is already looking really good. It then enabled cloud, so we said allow. It then created the tables in the database and we can check that going to cloud and then going to databases. So as you can see here, we have our tables ready. If we scroll down, you can see that it enabled AI so we can actually have our AI functionality in here. It has created the first version of our agent. And as you can see here, we have this landing page and we can obviously fine tune this exactly how we want. But the most important thing for us is right now to get our URL and how you should see this is we have this URL and Lovable creates this URL for us. And with this URL, we can connect any other system to our Lovable application. So now that we have the first version of our multi-agent system, we can click on cloud and we have our edge functions here where we can click on them and see our logs. So when we are running our system, our logs will come here and we can debug based on what we see here. But the most important thing right now is this button here, the copy URL. And as I said, this is the way how to connect Twilio to our lovable agent. So we click this, we then go to Twilio you can create a free plan and test it out. You can click on messaging, try it out and then send WhatsApp message. You then come to the sandbox and your sandbox settings here. If you click it, we have this input right here. And it says when a message comes in, we want to hit this endpoint right here. And this is the URL we just copied from our lovable edge function. So after this, we have the twim endpoint and right now we have connected our multi-agent system to a WhatsApp number. And I can understand this is a bit much. Like we just prompted it to create a multi-agent system. We then get a URL and that's it. Yeah, that's it. The only skill that you now need to have is test it out and debug based on the things that you're seeing in your logs right here. We can then click on save and that's everything that we now need to do. So we do that we can then actually start testing it out. So how we do that is we have this number, you can just send a WhatsApp message to this number and then you need to join with the code way go. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So we have the number here and we can copy this, we can go to the chat and paste it. And now nothing is happening and this is a real tutorial. So you can encounter things like this. It is not working yet and you need to start debugging. So what we do is we go back and we have our logs right here. So there is received something and the router decision was none. And when we unfold this, we see that there was a parse field. So what we do is we copy this, we paste it in Lovable and we'll just say, we send a WhatsApp message. We got this and no response back. So this is not even real debugging. It's actually just seeing what is happening telling Lovable what you're missing, what is something that you might want to change, and then sending it, and Lovable will take care of it. So we run this, let's wait for it to be completed, and then the whole process starts over again. So this is really the loop where we are building in. We try something out, 
we see if it is working. If not, we throw it back into Loveball and we will keep doing this until we are satisfied with the result. Very quickly, if you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel and that's obviously what I want. I want to make sure that you can create the best possible AI products. And this is exactly what you can expect from my coming videos. Perfect, so it was done and what we can now do is we will go back to our WhatsApp and try it out again. So we say hi, we'll go here, we refresh, we got new logs and as you can see here, it's still filled. So we'll go here and we say, hey, so I have been testing out it once again, but um, we still got this log. Um, so that is a bit weird. Please fix this and make sure that we can actually get a response back from our agents. We paste it and also let's add this one because the more info you give it, the better the results will be. So it came up with a new version. We'll go back to our chat and we'll say, hi, hello, how can I help you today? So this is already working. We now connected our agents to WhatsApp. And what we now need to do is make sure that we get this working in a way that we want. So it should get an image and it should understand the menu and make sure to make the best choice. So let's now actually test out if that is already working. So we have this menu and we will now actually just put it in our WhatsApp chat and see if it can already read everything from it and make decisions based on this menu. So we go here, we go, we add this one and we say, what do I need to choose? Okay. So right now we are not getting any response and we need to debug this further. So what we do is we go back to our lovable edge function and we just need to look at the logs. So we refresh this, perfect. So we have an unexpected token. We will copy this one and we will now just send this and see if it is then working. We'll just send this anyway. And what was now happening is we needed to download the image, but we didn't give our account SID and our account authentication. So we need to go back to Twilio. You go to account dashboard, you then click on custom, you scroll down and you have your account SID right here. We put that in. We then need our auth token, so we get that one as well. We paste it, we submit, and this is really the way we are building applications. Just test it out, see what is happening, put that into Loveball, and then eventually it will work. And it is very possible that you're getting different errors than me, but that is part of the game. AI cannot do everything the exact same. Even if you put in the exact same prompt as me, you might be running into different problems, but you can debug this in the exact same way. So we were missing one more thing and that is your WhatsApp from number. And you can find that in your Twilio right here. So we copy this, we go to our Lovable and we paste it. And together with Lovable, you can actually fix any problem that you walk into. So it has added this number and we can now start testing it out once again. So we go back to my WhatsApp well, once again, add the file, we say, what should we choose? We go back to our logs. So we only got this. So let's now copy this one, go back to our love ball and say, we only got this message and no other response in our logs we get. And then we get this one. Let's see, um, just make sure to respond back to the user in the exact same way we send this message then get this one and paste it do not over complicate it okay so how you should see this is you just need to go back and forth with lovable to make sure you get it working and eventually you will get it working it is just debugging but lovable does all the hard work so i've been going back and forth for two times right now and i will now test it out once again we go to file we add our menu and say what should i choose and we only got this response in here and we can later remove this and only get the actual response but the fact that it can read out the menu right now, that it can make decisions based on the current calorie intake and really advise our users in a way that actually works is really amazing. So if I'm looking here, I think something like the spicy chicken might be the, the most healthy choice. And as you can see here, we still have this left. So it highly recommends the spicy chicken. So while some other options like a cheeseburger or a chicken burger have good protein, they are higher in calories and fats. 
So this is really cool. And what we can now do is we can actually now say, okay, I will take that one. And what AI should now do is when I say I will take that one, it should understand that we are going for the spicy chicken and it would add the spicy chicken to our current calorie intake. So what we'll now do is we'll copy this, we'll go back to Lovable and we'll say, okay, so currently it is working pretty good. The only thing that we now need to do is based on the phone number that we're talking to, we need to make sure that we actually track our calories. So we also should have some kind of knowledge about the history of the conversation. So right now the AI suggested the spicy chicken. We said, okay, that's a bad one, but it really didn't understand that we were to go for spicy chicken and it should then adjust the calorie intake for that phone number so that we can really make sure that we can use this throughout the day and keep track of the current calories of this user. And as you can see here, where we previously needed to understand data points and really tweak everything based on how we want it, we can now actually just talk to Lovable, explain what we want. We will provide the example like this, we just put in the conversation and it now starts to understand how we want it to work and it will adjust it based on what we want. So we put this in, wait for it to be completed and test it out again. Okay, perfect. So we now asked it to track the calories that we are logging. And as you can see here in the database, we have all the interactions, we have all the conversations, we have all the users, and we now actually need to start tracking the meals for the users. So we'll once again go to WhatsApp We'll add the image once again and say, what should I choose? So this is very interesting because we have not eaten anything yet. It says you've got a good amount of wiggle room. So we could choose for the chicken burger. And what happens when I now say, okay, let's go for the chicken burger indeed. So right now it is still not getting the conversation correctly because this answer just doesn't make sense. So this conversation doesn't make sense. We say that we want the chicken burger and then it reacts with the cheeseburger looks delicious, but it is a bit over your remaining fat budget. So it is having no clue about the past conversation. So I think we should also check the tables to make sure that we, we pull the rest of the conversation in there. So it actually has some knowledge about what we are talking about and actually also understands when we need to start tracking meals. Because when someone says, I am going for, for example, the spicy chicken or the chicken burger, we should add that as a meal to the meals table. And then the next time someone asks to take something, we should take into account that this person already has one meal. We say example and put in the whole conversation. So we are now just asking it to use the tables, to use the data that we are storing to make better decisions. And this is the way you actually fine tune your agents to ensure good quality. Okay, perfect. So it made changes. We'll just go back to our conversation and test it out again. We say, what should I choose? Perfect. So looking at your remaining macros, we should go for the spicy chicken. Let's go for that. Great choice, I've locked your spicy chicken. So we have this remaining today and this is amazing. This is so easy to just have on your WhatsApp and it's just like a private coach who helps you track your calories and gives you advice on menu options. And if we now go back to our lovable, as you can see here, we can just look into our logs and see if everything is working correctly. But you can see that we are choosing different agents here. So for example, at the last message, we were using the tracker agent. When we go back more, we are using the vision agent, the nutrition agent, and the goal agent. And all of this is working so seamless together. This is really amazing. And really look into the possibilities that this is giving us. Now to finalize this product, I will ask Lovebolt to create a dashboard that users can actually see. So based on their phone number, they can just log into this application and see their calorie intake, see what they are tracking and everything comes together. So for our users, we want to enable them to log into basically a dashboard where they see their current intake, their calories that they have left, things that they have been eating, maybe trends throughout the weeks and basically everything that you would expect from a calorie tracker like this. Let's run that. So Lovebo is now asking for some more clarity. So we'll just say, no, I just want them to have this login page where they, they can only fill in their phone number and we will in a very intelligent way match that with the phone number from our table. We don't need any more data from them. It is just displaying the data that we already have. So the meals, the conversation, things like that. Okay, so we fixed this and this is the first version of the dashboard. It is really to show you how you could actually turn this into a real product. So you can see that everything that we have been logging is actually stored in here. They can log into it. They can see what is happening. We have the history here. Currently, we've only been tracking one thing, but you see the calories that are left, the protein that is left, the carbs, the fats, and this is already turning into something actually valuable. And that is what I think is very important there. You can make all different kinds of apps, make it something that actually has value to your users.
we could make some graphs here, we could make some trends, we could really think about everything that we might want to add and we could just ask Lovable to create it and it will just develop it. So that is amazing. I think there are so many use cases for this. Really try to look into what is actually close to you, what fits you, what do you like to make and just go and develop that. Thank you for watching the complete video. You had a lot of patience and I hope you learned something from it. This will not be the last video like this. I will be posting a lot of more content like this in the coming weeks. So make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on this amazing method of building AI systems.